One of the most notoriously broken weapons in Call of Duty has made a return in Modern Warfare 2. The Akimbo Snake Shots and oh my god you guys gotta level these babies up. This is essentially a pocket shotgun that consistently one shots. Here's an overview of the setup I was using in the gameplay. We dropped like 93 kills and like we died 6 times I think like it was a pretty good gameplay but I was being a scum and I was running the Riot Shield which I do recommend you guys to run. Super super toxic the whole lobby is gonna hate you but it is gonna save you in so many engagements because of how broken it is. With all that said though for the first attachment on the rear grip obviously you want to add the akimbo. It's gonna make it so you actually have two of the pistols in your hand and it gives you a very sexy inspect. Love that there's actual inspects in this game and they all look very unique. In Vanguard, we had to wait till like half the year to get some of the inspects. With the attachments on this weapon, you want to focus on the mobility, the damage range, and the fire rate. With the mobility side of things, the ADSP doesn't matter, but you want to make sure you can still run around the map pretty fluidly. With that said, for the laser, you want to add the Revo LSD 7MW. This is going to increase the sprint to fire speed, allowing you to fire the weapon a little bit quicker after sprinting. With this setup, it doesn't have the most damage range. Actually, it has like no damage range, so you got to get pretty Pretty close to the enemies and it makes it like a more balanced secondary. With this laser though it is going to increase the hit by accuracy making it a little bit easier to hit more of the pellets on the enemy giving you more one shot kills. Plus on top of that we're getting some hit fire recoil control which honestly doesn't matter at all. There is a pretty big con in that is going to add a laser to the weapon and is the green one and it's very very easy for the enemies to see. But it helps so much that I think it's honestly very very worth it to run this laser. And then next up for the ammo you want to add the snake shot. This is what's going to turn the weapon into a pocket shotgun. As you guys can see we are going to be losing damage range and the bullet velocity. The bullet velocity doesn't really matter because you will be very close and you're not going to notice that but the damage range is very annoying. But this is the attachment that's going to literally break the weapon and turn it into the pocket shotgun. You guys will see it is now a shotgun and this thing is so much better like you actually get consistent one shot kills. I do recommend you guys to fire the trigger at the same time or go left right left right or something like that. Don't just fire one and think it's going to kill. I always fire at least two just in case. But as you guys can see we can't even get a hit marker on this target so there is no damage damage range. For the trigger, you guys want to add the Bryson match grade. The other triggers are good, but the reason I like the match grade is because it's going to increase the trigger response time. We'll actually decrease the response time. Without this, there's going to be like a millisecond from when you pull the trigger and the gun is firing, kind of like the open bolt delay. This is going to severely reduce that, allowing the gun to feel way, way more responsive. Plus, on top of that, it's going to increase the fire rate, allowing us to pop off that second shot a little bit quicker, which sometimes you need to do that. You guys will see in the gameplay, sometimes it takes up to three shots. Most of the time, it is one shot, but it is nice to just increase increase that fire rate. So if we go back into the firing range, you guys will see I can fire this weapon a lot quicker. This thing is literally a one shot each time I pull the trigger. Insane. For the tuning on the grip, you guys will see on the bottom bar, we have sprint to fire speed and the aiming idle stability. We can't ADS with the weapon, so the idle stability does not matter and we want to increase that sprint to fire speed. For the bar on the left, it really does not matter at all. Like recoil smoothness does not do anything in the game. Plus, it's not going to really matter. Like we just have a pocket shotgun, but since the ADS speed doesn't matter, I just max out that because why not? For the last attach, and this is very important. On the barrel, you want to add the FTAC arrow. This can increase the damage range with this thing doesn't have any damage range and so this is going to bring that back up by a little bit. We get more hit by accuracy, making it easier to hit more of the pellets on the enemy. We get more moving speed allowing us to run around the map quicker and then we get the bolt velocity that we are losing with the snake shot. For the cons we are losing some recoil control ADS speed but this is a Kimbo so that's not going to matter at all so we pretty much only get pros. Then if we go back in here you guys will see we still can't hit the target in the back and so don't try to use this thing at like a crazy range and then for the tuning you just want to max out this damage range because the ADS speed doesn't matter and then for the recoil steady and the aim walking speed because you can't ADS you just want to max out recoil steadiness. Here's the setup and if you want more daily banger setups like this consider hitting the subscribe button. When I game I watch streams. We get the one boys we got to get a nuke. I think I need like dead silence so I can run around in peace. Oh my god. Run, 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 run. We run in there, get kills, run away. Run in there, get kills, run away. It sounds like a peace shooter, though. It sounds like I'm shooting like an airsoft gun. Oh, we got this, boys. Easy nukes. So this back hard point, we can't really push it too much. So I'm going to call it a Vito. And I want them to run into this building. Vito, if you kill me, I'm retiring from you. I'm never using you again. So all the enemies are going to be pushing us. No! 
I shot you. He died yesterday. What the hell? Dude, that's so annoying. Yes, that was a stupid push, but I could have got so many kills if it was a successful push. It was like a risky one that was going to have a massive return. I had a great ROI. We still can get it though, boys. We still can get it. We did it once. We can do it again. What, what the haze on munch? Enemy UAV overhead. Oh. Catch that, loser. There we go. Then when you're a content creator and you add every single person that comes into your stream, you have about 500 friends. Teammates, help, 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 teammates, help, 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 help. We're going to come up behind them all. Dude, he bunny hopped. It's so funny, like the force of this thing. How old are you? I'm a uh, six. I'm kidding. I'm 21. And sadly, my birthday is in a few days. Now that I turned 21, I don't want to get older. Days fell off. I don't know. I'm not money wise. Why would he grunt so loudly? Sounded like my dad. Boys, this is it. This is the nuke. We're getting it right now. I just need them to push me. Dude, this guy takes like 10 bullets to kill. Oh, I get bopped. Oh shit, what the hell? There's a man in there. Or search and destroy well, but if I'm just playing respawn, I found the streams do better if I just play solo. And obviously, I look for the easier lobbies, so I back in and out of lobbies. On my birthday, though, we're going to be doing lots of custom games, like Michael Myers and Hide and Seek and stuff like that. I got to get them lined up. I find myself getting easier lobbies playing solo. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Uh, well, unless everyone who joins who's really bad, then you'll get easier lobbies. But a lot of people, like, if I do play with you guys, a lot of you guys are fucking good at the game. And I'll just get really sweaty lobbies over and over. And then if I don't like the lobby, I can't really back out if, if I'm with you guys. This is a close game. Okay, I actually really want to win this. Because we didn't get the nuke, sadly. Cool, we're rooting for you. Let's see the final score chat. What did we do? How good have we done? 93 and 9 with a freaking revolver.